Andy Wardle says it. All confused and out of sync, Craig. Heading to the lakes for another wild camp. I'm usually on my second beer when you're on. Enjoy the show anyway. Catch you later. No, won't catch me tonight. I think Marianne Hobbs is in my slot tonight. Back out, don't laugh. My barber took too much off, it'll grow back. So, we're back in the lakes. This is Beda Fell where I went with Bushman. It doesn't look that bad for me, but this bit, this bit here is so deceptively steep. That first bit, and then the rest is just oh, hard. Well, I'm going up this way today, so the path goes along here. Right at the end of there, and then it like doubles back on itself up to there. I'm just following the map at the minute because I don't know. I don't know where I'm going really. To be fair, brought the drone again. See if we can get anything. Rain forecast. Um, the wind is. Uh, I don't know. It's unpredictable. The wind. They're just saying 20 mile an hour gusts, and then nine mile an hour, and then 13 and 28. Don't think they know. To be fair, and that's the MWIS. It's supposed to be more accurate. Honestly, it's all over the place. It's meant to be heavy rain now, according to all these weather apps. Not just the, not just the one. I've had a look about three or four, and it's meant to be heavy rain. And look at it. I'll have to take my top off because I'm too hot. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just edging my way along here because this muddy, right? But it's dead slippy. I've already like done a little river dance it's horrendous it's so slippy you don't realize I should have wore the trail shoes this is why I bought these trail shoes I put my boots on instead <sighs> anyway let's crack on we'll see what happens we've got a little way to go get it back up so far I don't, know, don't know what I'm talking about. Just while I'm here with this view, we've got High Street up over there. Can't remember the name of them. Steel Knots. Um, Old's Water in the background there. And there. All over there is uh, mountains. I like that's Beda Fell, and then the place fell, Anglethorn Pikes. I think that might be the Nab. Not sure, but yeah, I made progress. It's uh, oh, it's weird. I'm sweating, absolutely sweating. I had to take a layer off, but uh, the rain was on and then it was off. And now I don't know. I don't know what it's doing. As long as I can get the tent up before it really comes down, I'll be happy with that. Who knows, we might even get the drone up. <laughs> wouldn't, count you, wouldn't count your chickens or... Oop, it's dead slippy underfoot. I've been so slow because I'm just sliding all over. I think I need new boots. I've got no grip on these boots. Like, I really do need new boots. Any suggestions? I was looking at the Scarpa SLs. Oh, the um, La Sportiva, but not the Vibram soles. I want the same soles as what's on the them in trail shoes. If you've got them on boots, it'd be grip ears out. Oh, God, that was hard work. What would you do if somebody hadn't uh, knocked the wall down to make a path? Because that's the path on the map. Yeah, La Sportiva. The mutant shoes I've got, the trail shoes are so grippy, even on rock, even on wet rock they're good. So if they made boots with that sole, not the Vibram, Vibram's terrible for wet rock. Alright, gripping mud, but on uh, on rocks and that crags no good at all, as many people probably know. So yeah, new boots, that'll be my next thing. Right. 
people up there that looks a bit steep getting up there. Probably worse than it is. Probably looks worse than what it is. It's always the way, isn't it? It always looks bad until you get onto it. Right. Push on. Nearly there. Well, five minutes later, that wasn't as bad as it looked. I'm at the top of Steel Knots. I think that's what it's called. It has got another name. I'll tell you it in a minute. Oh, once this saves. It's called Pikawasa. <laughs> Pikawasa. I don't know how to say it, but that's it. And it's a win right anyway. So that's good. Let's see where we are. Let's check the steel knots, yeah. <sighs> Still not Pikawasa. So that's win right number 100 and something. So it's properly flat on the top, but there's lumpy bits, you know, there's like little delves and that. So I'm thinking I'm going to get in, get in here, and then I'll put the mat in one of them troughs and that'll hold that. And the rest will be alright. But this is the top, good views from here, like. Really good views. That's Old's Water again. See the Old's Water goes round. Right, it goes along there. That's Hallam Fell straight there. See the big trig point. So it's not really a big hill this, but I have walked a mile and a bit, and I'm knackered. I've been. Uh, you can tell I've not done anything in the last two weeks. Right, I've been lazy since that Chivia Wild Camp. I've done out. I've worked on the van. Uh, I haven't been out running. I've just been lazy, like. Work, it's just work, been killing us. The time I get home, I'm just knackered. Right, here's the rain anyway, so I'm gonna get set up, get this tent up. Well, I'm in. It's set up, uh, it's lovely. It's a really nice flat pitch, that. This side, not so much. There's a bit of a shelf there, bit of a raised bit there, but I'm using that as a seat. It's quite comfortable, but this sleeping area here is perfectly flat, good. Sleep now. I'm going to just move everything across. It's just all out of the way now because I'm using this porch. But yeah, it's good. This is a good tent. This. It's heavy, but man, it's lovely and roomy. I love the space in here. Got the backpack in there. Look. I've got all these tie backs, two doors. I haven't even put the guy lanes out yet. I'm just going to go out and do that once the rain gets off. It's been. It got quite heavy there, but it's off. Ugh. Hopefully get out. Have a look at the views. It's all about the views. Yeah, just got the usual stuff. I don't go anywhere without that now. Hopefully you never need it. Flex tail pump. Let that mat up in seconds. Video light. Alp kit bob still going strong. Spare batteries. A charger. Obligatory beers. I've brought this. <laughs> I've just brought this just to, just for the mood. I just fit it in the bottom of the bag, you know what I mean? I didn't even know I was carrying it. I've got my cooking stuff over there. And I've got me food in there. Rubbish bag for all the rubbish. Yep, I'm set. Oh, another important thing I brought is a little microfiber towel. I just dried myself off with that. Everything, you know, I was bringing all the water in and I just dried the porch off. Dead handy, that. It falls right in now. So that's just a good thing to bring. That's quite a big one, that. I use it when I go swimming. I've got drone there, I don't know if I'm going to get it up though. Let's have a look outside there. Eh? I forget the problem with this is the door. It's huge. It zips so far away. I've got a good spot, like. Good little perch. There's loads of people at Halland Fell. I nearly went there, but then I thought better of it. Yeah. That's a place fell, isn't it, over there? That one. Or is it that one? It's one of them. The bigger one, I think. But yeah. Not outside. That moss. See, I'm not bothered about the... Uh, I'm not bothered about the rain. It's no wind. 
if it was windy I'd be, I'd be complaining but there's no wind so I'm happy it can rain all at once right I'm gonna uh, have a cup of tea just to set us off there you go I've got this vent open at the top here um, tea bag Yorkshire tea milk I won't tell you where I got that um, and sugar and a useful implement for stirring so I'm going to use this gas up it's down to about there and I've stopped at Penrith on the way here go outdoors got this I've got two more of them and then I brought that and I think that will do for tonight because if you use that up and then finish off with that rather than being two big ones up I either go outdoors Penrith closing down 30% off everything but I looked in the small print it says it's closing down temporarily so they must be getting refurbished needs it as well like because when I was in there doesn't the rain come in and all the carpets are always flooded and they are only 30% off so I got that the gas is quite cheap I say cheap it was still like £17 for three but it would have been more alright so cup of tea time and we'll just chill out for a bit. Hopefully the rain will go off and I can get the drone up. Am I bothered? <laughs> Nice cup of tea. I'm glad I got the tent up though. It was raining, but not like this. A bit of heavy rain. No better. No better sound on a tent. Just not all night, eh? Like a wasser. There we are. All nice and set up. Rain's off. Just make a little break in the weather and come out and do a bit of sightseeing. Oh, it's, a, it's pegged in alright. I'm not expecting high wind so should be okay. The views. Nice. See the difference no wind makes. It just makes a huge difference to be fair. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have a look on the map, I might go down that way tomorrow. I think it's steep, steep drop down, but I didn't want to come up because it's steep. But it's a, I think it's a shorter way back. I'll have a look, see. It's definitely a path, there's another cairn as well. I don't know what that is. This is an interesting rock formation. Ooh! It's like a miniature. Helm crag in it. See the claim in it, that's gone up it. Careful on the slippy rocks. Hoosh. There we are. We're up. Alright, good views. Nice little spot this. Dunno what made us come here.
crazy the weather it's on and off on and off i don't mind like i say no wind does me fine and all the um clouds over there sticking to the side of the hills there's plenty of cloud over there it's just lovely isn't it i think that's a great gable in the distance there eh? don't know is it will it be could be it's probably not loving this like this is what all that hardship was about eventually get a decent camp yeah a little bit of rain's now everything's dry i brought um i brought dry clothes got my waterproofs on everything's fine it's definitely the wind i don't like this is just lovely here might oh got the shiver there might even get a bit of a red sunset who knows that would look nice wouldn't it let's see it's not nice <laughs> They've got a bit all that rain. I think that's the rain that just came over me. Just moving through. Nice. I'm listening to Radio Six Music, the festival. Craig Charles was on. Um, he was on early. He was on from ten o'clock till one, and I got the very last shout out. <laughs> I'll put this on. I'll put that on at the beginning of this because it gave us the last shout out of the day at one o'clock, just before he finished. Literally the last one. You'll think I'm a right blooming stalker. Oh, look at this sheep here. It's got a limp. I was limping before. It's want to help him. Anyway, look at this. Story that cuts like a knife. And so me up, keeping all of it inside. I know how to do it, but I can't find the time. So hold me down, keeping all of it inside. Hold me down, keeping all of it I've lost count of the days in my pocket and the money spent looking in Head down in the way of the Sufi and the New York Trilogy I've lost count of the days in my pocket and the money spent looking in Garlic's all chopped ready. Got all my stuff laid out. Onions in the bag with mushrooms. Chicken. Um, herbs, spices, paste. And for some reason, peanuts. Peanuts. Oh, get it. This is chicken. Um, Thai masaman curry had this before, it's nice like. Right, so. That's the start of it. Oh, that garlic. 
Nobody's gonna come in this tent tonight. <laughs> Just while I've got this cooking, look at the inversion coming, filling the valley. It's just a shame it's getting dark. Hopefully, it'll be there in the morning. Here we go, I've got the chicken in. I've got this uh, mushrooms, onion, red onion, and garlic. And chicken. Oh. <laughs> Steam up, don't get too close. And then you put the, you put the paste in. And the coconut milk. It's basically just a red Thai curry, isn't it? With peanuts in it. Nice though, I've had it before, it's lovely. Looking forward to it because I'm really hungry. Can of beer in the boot. Oh, it's amazing that, look at that. Can't even do a time lapse, too dark. I'm not pick it up. Not a worry. Hopefully, like I say, be there in the morning. Get the chilli in. Little star endings, give it a bit of oriental flavour. Just about ready to put the paste in now. Chicken's just about sealed. So it tells you, it tells you to cook it like that, seal the chicken, and then put the paste in the coconut milk, and then just let it simmer for a while. You obviously don't eat that star endings. You chuck that away. Oh, that inversion's mad. Creeping over. Creeping over. Steam up. Door open. But the, uh, you know, condensation's here, like, even with the door wide open, you know what I mean? Now we can do about it, like, conditions, isn't it? So there we are. I'm done with the spoon. There we go. Everything's in. The, the coconut milk I've just got to let it simmer now for a little while turn the gas right down that's the beauty with this stove you can turn that gas to a right little simmer it's good I like it for that but I had a taste of it and it's volcanic oh it's spicy yeah right now I don't think I can eat that oh <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god, that's spicy. Can't remember it being like that. Oh, my nose is running everything. Oh, I'm in a mess, I'm in a bad way. I've also got some jasmine rice to throw in. Hopefully that'll cool it down. Oh god, I thought the coconut milk would have cooled it down. And put a, I put a chilli in it as well. Oh, oh I'm so fun. <coughs> Come on, it's ready. Oh, oh. The problem is, there is no problem. Oh, oh, oh. It's hot, as in, out the pan hot and spicy. The moon, the sky's just cleared up, it's amazing. This is amazing up here. There's the inversion over there. Which you can't see. You can't see it. The inversion over there. And then you got the perfectly clear sky up there. Oh, this is fantastic. There's not a breath of wind as well. I have to remember not to eat the um the start anise. Mmm, it's nice that one. Lovely. I'll knock that off now. Oh, it's going to warm me through because it's starting to get a little bit chilly. There's loads of stars out. I'm going to have a look at the weather forecast when I put the camera out for the night lapse. See, so get the northern lights. They've been active this week, haven't they? Just listening to um, a bit of Radio 6. Got a little, a funny little light on. And the head torch as well. Plenty of light. Four beers left, like four and a half. Slow drinking the beer, haven't I? I've still got half a can there. About, what time is it? 25 to 8. So I'm going to have this anyway. 
and then tidy up a bit and just chill out and just chill out and relax because this is absolutely fantastic night I'm loving this like see this is the difference it makes when there's no wind well I've had that I've had it <coughs> very nice very spicy right and I've got a top tip when you've been crushing chilies up don't rub your eyes later on oh, I swear to god I'm blind in one eye if there's drone footage in it worked uh, I think it did it seemed all right our drone's quite good I'll have to look with the quality that uh, it's supposed to be 4k but I don't know maybe the late conditions on the last time weren't great so it wasn't the best but I've tidied my kitchen away and everything's put away bring some wet wipes and some kitchen roll and obviously bin bags and just hide all in there it's good works good little system right? I've got four beers left I've got my little mood light on I'm gonna go out now and go outside and do some uh, night photography oh no seeing that ah oh, the clouds come over it's taking all the stars so I might not be doing any night photography all cozy in bed I'm gonna shift everything over there remember Good night, very good night. Totally enjoying it for a change. <laughs> oh, well, what a good night! This has been. Have a nice walk up. I think I said earlier on I was a bit knackered coming up because I've been lazy, but I'll, I'll get back in that. Um, yeah, it's been doing working really lords work so busy at the minute we're taking extra people on <coughs> we've bought another van and we're taking two two part-time staff on so hey, it's it's picking up um i'll get some holidays in april easter holidays i'm going away for that Gan me and rob's going away um and in may i think it's the first week of may so it's not long after the easter we're going away as well for uh for a week just me and him so I plenty plenty to come up as for the van um, I've been doing that I've been insulating it putting the um, the silver foil I've got all the sound deadening I've got the silver foil on the floor insulation on the floor and I've started putting it on the walls I had to buy some um, I had to buy extra the the recycled plastic bottles like the rock wool like the loft insulation thing and sticking that in so hopefully get that done this week and then I've got to buy the carpet I'm not looking forward to carpeting it I've watched a few YouTube videos and it looks it looks straightforward but <laughs> it also looks very very tricky I'll give it a go and see what happens make a good video if, if not else. so if you're interested in seeing the progress of the camper van I've put it on a separate channel because I know I've, not everybody's interested in that um, it's, I'll put the I'll put the link for my channel that channel in the description. Andy's camper van. Keep it simple. Like this channel, Andy Wardle. It's not exactly bloody. <laughs> it's, it's not mind taxing, is it? But anyway, yeah, I've had a good night. The weather's turning a little bit now. Let's get the winds picking up now, which it said it would. And I think it's going to be windy in the morning and but hopefully the rain will stay off so I can get everything put away um that's about it really just a quick overnighter not sure when I'm back out next week I, I hope to be out next week we'll see but then like I say me and Rob's going away for the Easter so I don't know I don't know if I will be out next week actually I don't know we'll see I say that every week, don't I? I'll not be out if it's windy and then I'm out in the wind. But yeah. So any suggestions for boots, new boots? These, them, oh, I like the look of them sportivas, I like. Um, and what else can you put in the comments? I was gonna do some impressions. I'll do some impressions. Put in the comments who you think it is, right? I mean, they're good. I am good at impressions. You'll not, you will get them straight away. Uh, first one is, you're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. 
Right. The second one is get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. And then you've got Adrian. Adrian. I could have been a, a champion. He was the champion, wasn't he? What's the other one? Um, oh, no loads. Yes, Miss Money Penny. The name's Bond. Oh, I'll give it away. Bond. Ah, but which one? James Bond. Which one, though? No, I didn't give it away. Could have been one of five, that. <laughs> I'm good, like. I am good. I do, um, what do you call them of Star Trek? Make it so, Captain Thing, hairy face thing. Make it so. Space, the final frontier. How many ears has Captain Kirk got? No, he's got three. He's got the left ear, his right ear, and the final front ear. <laughs> of it, of it. Ah, oh dear. This is what happens when you go solo camping and uh, the weather's not very good to stand out. Look forward to the summer camps. Don't forget to put your clocks forward. I'll be, uh, I'm not going to put my clocks forward. Uh, most of the phone and my watch update automatically, so they will go forward. But um, it's going to be, it'll be dark when I wake up tomorrow morning. But you got the light nights, so I'll give, I will get a bit more work done on the van. That's the thing, the light fades when I, when I get home, it starts getting dark, so I can't do anything. But I will get on with that. So don't forget, I'm going to have a look at Andy's camper van. You can see me make an absolute hash of it. Or a good job, don't know. But I'll leave the mistakes in. I'll leave all the mistakes in because I think it's the only way you can learn, isn't it? I've learned watching YouTube videos. And a couple of them lads, they've left the mistakes in, you know what I mean? So, it's a good way to learn. Anyway, back to the music. And back to the beer. We'll come back later. Morning, glampists. Right, let's have a look at this. Oh, look at this. Wow. That's the wow factor. Amazing. What a morning. A bit uh, cool, shall we say. That's freezing cold. And the best bit is, right, this tent's bone dry. Absolutely bone dry. I'm amazed because I had everything zipped up. There can't be some condensation. But anyway, I think we're going to head down that way. I had a look on the map and that is definitely a path. There's people at the end of the path there. It's nine o'clock. Didn't the clocks go forward? I'm lying there. Oh, I feel cheated. I feel like I've been robbed of an hour of my life. I have to wait until October to get that back. Right, we get the kettle on and then make like a tree and get off here. <laughs> so, all packed, ready to go. Technically, only nine o'clock. But it says 10 o'clock on my watch. Which I'm still not happy about. I'm going to go down that way. And drop straight off the front of it. I've had a look on the map. It uh, looks a straight path. I don't know how steep it is. Everything's bagged up. And I've left no trace. I've picked up some rubbish. And uh, somebody left a tent peg. Bent in half tent peg. One of them blooming cheap tent pegs. Nice one. Leaving that. Good. Well done. Not like you couldn't see it, it was right in the middle of the path as well. So it hasn't been left by accident. Oh, well, that was a good camp. Look at the ravens swooping about. <laughs> good. Yep, yeah, that was good, I enjoyed it. A nice chill out night. So, unless anything amazing happens, We'll catch you on the next one.
like Shakira said, whenever, wherever, these hips don't lie.